The River State Governor, Nyisa Mwike, has assured, urged Nigerian lawyers to engage in judicial activism. This, he says, will serve as a deliberate measure in addressing the slow dispensation of justice and attempt to stifle the rights of the citizenry. It was the 61st Annual General Conference of the Nigerian Bar Association NBA Conference in Port Harcourt. Governor Wike said no excellence could be achieved in the nation's judicial system when judges lack the courage to enforce the law with equal measure. This is because they are constantly under some form of political intimidation or pressure to please vested interest. Unfortunately, NBA becomes part of the problem when it remains discomfortably indifferent and currently voiceless to the many issues and challenges affecting the government, democracy, the legal system, and the rule of law in our country. We agree that confronting a blind and brutal government may be tough and often misinterpreted by its kind, but there can be no room for recent retreat or surrender if we must expect to have excellence in our judicial system and prevent innocent persons from suffering adversity because of the failures of our legal system or judges lack of courage to enforce our laws with equal measures. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed, gave an address. He charged the NBA and its members that serve in various offices to lead the crusade to address the poor condition of service of the national judicial officers. Justice Mohammed was represented by Justice Mary Ordili. He observed that administration of justice is being hampered by assault that litigants, especially politicians and some lawyers, launch on the judiciary when their ends are not met. NBA President Olumide Akbata hinted on the future of the legal profession within the context of a rapidly changing world. I have encouraged my brother judges and justices to see the administration of justice as one of the fundamental solutions to some of the nation's crises. The peace of the nation rests the balance of the scale of justice and our courts must ensure that justice is served at all times, irrespective of the pressures of the name. The objective of this conference is encapsulated in the theme, taking the lead, which is to serve as a call to action to legal practitioners all over the country, irrespective of their areas of practice, to take up the challenge, rise to the occasion, and provide this country with effective and quality leadership that has been largely lacking for decades since independence. Governor Wike said there is need to seek judicial interpretation of the executive order number 10. That, in itself, is an oppressive erosion of the powers and autonomy of the sub-national government. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.